welcome to Holly Hill Kids Church yes. Online. Yes. So if you go to our church, you know who we are. But if you don't, we're going to tell you real quick. Get up there. This is Connor. Wave, Connor. <laughs> this is Kristen or Bubba. Hi. This is little Bubba that is currently hiding from the camera. And then I'm Miss Hannah. So we're going to do a little kids church lesson for you. And I'm going to tell you real quick what you need if you want to do it with us. But if you can't and you want to do it later and come back and watch it again, that's fine. If you do, I'm going to tell you what you need. And you can pause the video, go get it, come back, and then do it with us. So you'll need a little bit of water. You're just going to need enough to fill up the bottom of a plate. Uh, that's it. Then you're going to need a plate. We're using styrofoam because... Well, they're young and I don't want to mess up my plates. So styrofoam, it just needs to have like a little lip on the side because you're going to pour water into it and you need enough water to cover the bottom. You do not have to have aluminum foil. I put it down because I know my children and I know cinnamon is going to go everywhere. So then you need cinnamon. You need a little bowl of some cinnamon. sort. Hold on. A little bowl of some sort to put um, dish detergent in. I'll explain that in a minute. And then you need some dish detergent whatever kind you want and enough rags for however many kids you have so we have two kids so we have two rags so i'm going to give you a minute to go get that and then i'll tell you what we're going to do right what cinnamon cinnamon all right so bubba kristen whatever you want to call her she's going to read a verse three it's matthew 8 17. he cured the body ill he fulfilled mm. isaiah's well-known sermon he took our illness mm. and carried out our diseases so when it's talking about he, it's talking about Jesus. And we all know who Jesus is, right? Connor, what did Jesus do? Died on the cross. Give me a five. He died on the cross for our sins. <laughs> Connor, what else did Jesus do? Tell me something else he did. What about with the loaves and the fish? You know what Jesus did with that? He stopped. He multiplied. He, dude, big word. Good word. Good job. So he multiplied. So Jesus does all these miracles, right? But this one is talking about how he can cure the sick. And I thought it would be a really good lesson with things that are going on today. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your water. I'm going to do it first, and then I'm going to let the boys do it. That way you guys can kind of see how to do it, okay? So I'm going to start right here. You're going to fill the bottom. Stop kicking. Thank you, sir. You're going to fill the bottom of your plate with water. Ooh, water. Ooh, water. Want some water? Yeah. On your head. <laughs> okay. So you fill the bottom of your plate with water. Then you're going to take some cinnamon. Parents, if they're my kids' age, you might want to do it for them. That's up to you. I'm going to let my I'm going to let mine try because I'm crazy, but that's up to you. So you're going to spread your cinnamon over maybe you yes, also there we go over the top of your water, and you want enough to cover all of the water. Otherwise, when we do the demonstration with the soap, you're not going to be able to see what happens. So we're going to cover it all together. Soapy. It's not soap, silly. What is this? I, I want cinnamon. What's your cinnamon? We're going to get my person and y'all are going to do yours. I want the cinnamon all right. to eat. So my whole plate is covered with cinnamon. I'm going to come zoom it in real quick for y'all so you can see it. Don't touch, please. Uh -uh. Don't touch it. <laughs> all right. I think you can see that pretty decently. All right, and then what you're going to do is, I've already done this, but you're going to take your soap, and you're going to put soap in your little bowl that I told you you were going to need. You don't need a whole lot. I just put a lot because we have three people doing it. You're going to take your soap. You're going to dip your soap on your finger, okay? It smells like cake. <laughs> it's because it's cinnamon. So I've got the soap on my finger, and then you're going to either make a cross, or you can write the name Jesus. I'm going to do a cross because it's a little bit more simple, and then the boys can do whichever one they want in just a second. So let's do a cross. Make sure y'all can see it. You gotta dip. Oh, the cinnamon's gone. Then you're gonna wipe your finger. Dip. And you can also, and you're gonna wipe after each time when you have cinnamon on your finger. You can also, if you wanna do it a little bit simpler, you can kind of carry it like this. Where did the cinnamon go? I wish I could eat that. That would be disgusting. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna do another line. For the other part of the cross, it's not good by itself. You no, have to put cinnamon not. in stuff. It tastes gross all by itself. Yeah, I would add sugar. Yeah. Uh, cinnamon. <laughs> so I'm going to finish yeah. my cross. Ooh. I like it. Yeah, I need to put a little bit more because there's still some cinnamon, right? So the example of what we were talking about was Jesus can cure our sicknesses. He can also take away our sins like we did when he died on the cross, right? Yeah. So in our example, the cinnamon is either the sickness or the sin. 
And Jesus is what? What is Jesus, y'all? This sickness. Jesus is not sickness, silly boy. <laughs> Jesus is a soap. Are you a savior? But in the demonstration, he's our soap because when we put the soap in the sickness, the cinnamon, it what? It goes away. So Jesus is taking away our sins, our sickness, anything we need him to take away. Now, if you leave it too long, it will kind of come back. But that's our demonstration. So I'm going to let the boys do it. Uh, so now, kids, if you want to follow along at home, I'm just going to remind you real quick what you need again. You need, hold on, you need cinnamon, you need water, you need a cup with a lip or a little edge on the side, you need a little bowl, put soap in, and you need two rags, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. <sighs> Me and Bubba are going to watch you very, very, very closely, <laughs> but yes, you can. Okay? So we're going to let the boys try, and we're going to kind of talk you through it as you go. Yeah. Bubba, I'm going to let you help Connor, and I'm going to help Bubba. Yeah. All right, she's going to help you. Don't pour it too fast. Let me zoom out so people can see what y'all are doing. Hold on before you go. Ooh, I went the wrong way. Yeah. All right, here we go. So Connor's going to go first. Not too much, remember? Hey, hold on, your plate is tilted. I got you. A little bit more. Ooh, that's enough. Yep, all right, you're done. I did not know it was going to go down. That's okay. All right, Bubba, you ready? I am. I'm going to hold it like this. Got it? Yeah. Ooh, water. Ooh, water. Like this. Let's see. A little bit more. Connor. It's fun. Calm your little self down. Yeah. All right, we're going to let Connor go first with the cinnamon. Now, look, you're not going to dump like this. If you dump like that, it's going to go everywhere. Kind of. You're going to go like this. I know. And I know you know everything, but just listen, <laughs> little boy. You're going to sprinkle it like this, okay? Big Bubba's there to help you. Now, like, show him, Big Bubba. Hold it like. Uh, I'm going to try. You're going to try. I'm going to help you. Oh, I don't have there you go. Alright, help him because if water gets in it, it's not going to work. <laughs> Good track on. Hey, when she's done, you can add a little bit to the top, okay? Wow. You can do a little bit more when she's done getting it all up. Well, I'm using your other hand. You're using your left hand. Oh, yeah, you're not left handed, silly boy. You're what? Oh, right, so right now, Connor's applying the sickness, right? Because cinnamon is the sickness or the sin. Good. All right, can you see it for Bubba? Oh, and then now Bubba is going to apply the sickness or the sin. Let's not hold it like that. Mm -hmm. That smells good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's apply this sickness. Woo, sickness. Jesus is going to take away the sickness, and he is just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't it too much. Sickness. All right, y'all. We've got the sickness, right? Yeah. There's the sickness. All right, so here is Jesus, right? Uh -uh, pause. pause. So, Con Bubba, you use this side. Connor, use that side. Now, you're not going to look. If I put my finger in there and I go all that, that's going to be way too much. Yeah. You don't want it to get on your fingernails, all right, y'all? You just want it to get on the bottom of your finger. So, you're going to just dip it. Uh-huh. Wait. Woo. All right, go. What are you drawing? You're supposed to be drawing Jesus or the cross. <laughs> No, like the the word. The word. Okay, like his name. wipe your finger off. We can try. I don't again. know how to draw that. You don't know how to spell it. What I'll if I help you spell it? I'll just draw it. No, I think you are big enough to spell his name. What about if I write it out for you and then you spell it? Boy, I want you to write Jesus. Cause look, they're watching at home and they need two options. That way they can do a cross or Jesus. I need you to write Jesus. I want cross. How about this? Write Jesus and put a cross on the bottom. I can I do a cross, boss? You gotta write it small if you're gonna do that. Hold on, let me show you how to write Jesus. Connor, I said, hold on. So there's your cross, obviously. I said, hold on. Put your finger back in that side. Jesus is J. E. I think I wrote it E backward. Yeah. Yep. E. S. U. S. That's how you spell Jesus, okay? So Connor's gonna do Jesus and a cross, and Bubba is gonna do a cross. Yeah. Alright, dip your finger in there, Bubba. Uh huh. Good. Now we're gonna do a cross with a line straight I need to down. Fix this. Your thing's right there. No, straight down. Ready? Thing. Ooh, it, it good like job. All right. Get it another finger. Like All right. Not too much. Good job. Now we're gonna go across. Yeah. 
Don't blow on it. No, no, it's not quite done. Okay. We're now we're applying Jesus to the sins, right, y'all? And Jesus is what to the sins? Wipe off your finger before you go to the other side. What is Jesus doing to the sins? He's washing them away. That was a good cross, Bubba. Ah, you got it on the other finger. My still does not look like a cross. You have look. You see how we're having to do it multiple times, more than just once. Do it again, bud. There you go. Good job, Bubba. Yeah. That was a good cross. Maybe it's because this sprinkles go on the side of it. You want to try again? Okay. Here, wait a minute. I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon seed. That oh, no, that was good. You just have to do it more than one time. You have to go over it again. <laughs> you need me to put it on that side because Bubba's done. Good job. Not too fast. Good. You gotta wipe your finger before you go again. Wipe your finger. All right, now I have more. So, I, I see, sometimes you need more Jesus if this is right. Jesus gotta wash it away. Ew, that's nasty. Cinnamon. Oh, that's good. Cinnamon's my flavor. Yeah. It won't freeze each All right, so I know this is a little different. Like usually we go into the church and we worship with the adults and your parents, and then you. Dismiss and you go to kids' church. So I'm hoping that's what you did online. You can watch the worship online. And then when Pastor Carly comes up and does his prayer, you guys can be dismissed to kids' church. And you can maybe go to your room or to the kitchen, probably the kitchen if you're going to be doing this, and follow along with it just like you would with kids' church. So they're going to keep doing it for a few more minutes. Connor is a perfectionist. If y'all know Connor, y'all know that. Wash your hands off. You can't just leave it up there. It's going to drip the sand right back in. You gonna do any more? Uh, uh, uh. You want me to help you? Oh, you're still spelling it. Was that your E? G J E S U S S U S. What does that spell? Jesus. That, Jesus. But Daddy made a song of that before. Did he? J U S U S. Remember? I remember. Can you? So he's writing Jesus. He's just not writing it in one section. Yeah. Hey, put the soap on this side. Let me write Jesus on Bubba so I they can see it. You got two letters to go. Come on, big boy. Y'all got to be a good example. And I need y'all to wave and tell everybody bye-bye. Because, look, some of your friends from church might be watching. All right, so J. Woo. E's going to be a hard one. Mm -hmm. E. Ew. Cinnamon. You can do it. You've already done three letters. S. You, Bubba, come back to the kids' church lesson, please. And S. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed playing with some cinnamon and thinking about how Jesus can take away your sickness and your sins as long as we will. How do we talk to Jesus? Pray. So as long as, <laughs> he said pray. As long as you pray to him, right? So we are going to close in prayer real quick, and we hope that maybe next week we can be back in church. If not, we'll try to do something else for you guys, okay? Can y'all close your eyes so we can say a quick prayer? Dear Lord, thank you for letting us have this technology so that we can reach the kids even if we're not in the actual service, God. Thank you for being our healer and being able to take away our sickness and our sins, Lord. We love you and we praise you. Thank you for letting us come together. And Lord, I hope the kids got something from this message. And we hope to see them next week, whether it's online or in person. All right. Amen. Can y'all tell them bye? Wait to the camera. Bye.